Hey Stash fans and welcome back to the Molly Stash Show. As you know, we recently, the missus and I moved to Louisiana and during this process, I put my bike in the back of the truck and then I towed my truck with the moving truck and my wife followed driving her car. Now we've been here for, I don't know, three or four days and we still haven't been able to get the bike out of the back of the truck yet. And you know, some of you know that I'm on this app called Mono, Moto Amino, it's like a motorcycle community. And one of the guys, JP300 underscore, messaged me and said he is willing to help get the truck, or get the bike emptied. And that would make life much easier. Um, because I really want to use my bike, but I could also use my truck for moving stuff to the storage and stuff out of the storage. And when we had the guys help, we hired some movers to help move, empty the moving truck, I asked them to like leave an aisle and put stuff in certain spots and they got sort of upset and they said, I don't like it when people tell me what to do. And anyway, they blocked, they completely blocked the door. You open up the door and you can't get it, it's a solid wallet, junk. And I could get some of that stuff out if I had my truck away to haul stuff. Uh, like I have a toolbox, for example, that goes in the back of my truck. So that would be nice to use to keep stuff secure and having a truck for a truck is always good. So the first couple days I was here, I looked for a loading dock and I couldn't really find one. On Sunday, I ended up finding one and now it's just a matter of getting help to help me unload the truck. I ran into some of the, the local motorcycle cops and they said I shouldn't be hassled if I just go to some random loading dock and just unload my bike that it shouldn't be a problem. They were unwilling to help, but they suggested I go to Eagle Rider. Turns out the local Eagle Rider was just about as unfriendly as the Phoenix Eagle Rider, so that didn't really help. And I was pre-warned, but whatever. So now I'm just waiting for this uh, guy. I don't know. I've never met him. It was JP300, whatever. I'm assuming his name is Jay. Help him to come help so we can get the tractor out of the unicorn. Which sounds kind of weird. Oh well, I'm going to be filming the unloading with another camera, so it might be a different picture quality. Alright Stash fans, I don't know if you can hear me, it's kind of windy, and I'm also kind of proud of myself because I used the suction cup window mount to mount the GoPro on top of my truck. So I'm going to do that, as I wait for this guy to get here, I'm going to go ahead and get the ramps out of my truck and put them between my truck. somebody decides to come hassle me but hopefully it will be okay and it turns out I forgot the straps I was gonna grab new straps to hold the ramps to my truck because the old ones broke luckily some of the buckles broke on the ratchet straps on the ride here so I put an extra ratchet straps holding the bike down so I think I can use a couple of those to hold the ramps down so we will see what happens one strap off it made me really nervous because since the buckles broke on the other ones I was really hoping that they still held their tension and these weren't the only ones holding it. Turns out they weren't at least in the front anyway so that's good. Uh, so we will get this going. I think I'm going to put one ramp directly behind the wheel then maybe another ramp on the side so I can walk the bike off. I don't know. It was a bit hair racing putting this bike in this truck. And there was video recorded of it. Apparently the language was so bad that the video wouldn't be appropriate to show. So we'll just leave that to your imagination. The other straps sort of wrapped around the tailgate and held it that way. They were a lot smaller. These ones have the buckles, so I think I'll maybe see if I can't strap it to my tailgate and the ramp. Or, uh, sorry, the trailer hitch and the ramp. See what happens. So I'm recording for the other GoPro at the same time, and I don't know if this will 
cancel the GoPro since I'm using my phone to control the GoPro but you can see I have the ramp between my truck and the loading dock and it's fairly level pretty good same height I was thinking about pulling the truck forward so this part here just rested on the loading dock and I thought probably more stable this way It'd be easier to do so this is a little cutscene into what I'm doing fans so you can see I am sitting against an emptyless truck which is awesome big shout out to Jimmy who came and helped me a lot of fellow moto vloggers said they would or they could but and he was the first and only that didn't give me an excuse he just came out and we got it done so that's really awesome also when you could as you could see when the strap loosened the bike shifted and he caught it from falling on me so that was really cool because that would have sucked to be crushed by that thing um, however we didn't need ramps to back it off because the truck was just a little bit higher than the loading dock unfortunately I backed up too far and you could see my tailgate opener handle thinger snapped off um, see sure enough there's two broken pieces and that sucked uh, it would have been cool if that didn't happen I guess I didn't need to back up so far, I didn't know, but I got my bike out, so a little bit of battle damage is okay with me. Um, so again, big shout out to Jimmy, and i uh, he's also a fellow moto vlogger on YouTube, so I will put his information flashing up at the screen right here at the bottom right now. So that is awesome, and as you can see, I got my bike out, and uh, apparently... I left the key in the ignition because the lights are still on. So, shoot. Oh well. Uh, and as you can see, the air conditioner is chained right to the house. So I figured since that's chained to the house and the front porch chairs are chained to the house, then maybe I should put my bike in the house. So I got it in the backyard. I'm going to bring it up the stairs later, park it in the kitchen so it's with me at all times. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and come back again for another, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and make sure you hit like and subscribe and check out Jimmy's link. I'll show it again.
and um, until next time.